everyone, Frederick here at Simple System Trading. Uh, today's video is about a study in a free bundle. You already have it. If you don't have the free bundle, you can get it on my website. Fairly easy to activate it and you should be good to go in two minutes. Uh, link below in uh, the notes of the video. Uh, what we'll do here is we're going to draw these reference subgraphs based on an alert condition. In this case, the inside bar is an example. You can generate your own alert condition inside share a chart and uh, color a bar based on it or do many other things based on an alert condition. And in this case, a free bundle study will allow you to generate reference values that uh, remain valid for future bars right until the bar where there is a new um, alert condition valid, right? So in this case, the uh, inside bar will generate a range where you can um, use that in your trading. All right, uh, quick chart book, very easy to do. So I'll uh, remove all of these and uh, we'll start from scratch. You can join. Uh, first, we're going to check the inside bar study. Inside bar study doesn't have any, any settings, it just colors the bar based on um, whether a bar is an inside bar. I see all the bars turn orange. I'm going to use that in our color bar based on alert condition study. This is something that uh, the free bundle study needs. So we're not going to uh, choose a draw style here. We're just going to name it. So we select the right one. I'm going to set an alert condition here. ID1 is the inside bar, subgraph 1 not equal to 0. That would mean that the inside bar is present. That's all we do. Um, I'm going to add a free bundle study. Here the free bundle set subgraph value using an alert condition. So what we're going to do here, we set uh, the subgraph value of this study based on the inside bar alert condition. And we're going to use the high of that bar. So whenever that alert condition is true, so we have an inside bar, we're going to get the high of the inside bar. So high of the inside bar. And we're going to set the draw style here to be a dash. And that's it. I'm going to use a different one as well for the low. And set this to low. Here you see we have the same picture as I started in, in the video. So now you ask me, okay, what can I do with that? Well, that depends on you, what you want to do with it. If you have any value on inside bars or any strategy, it's part of your trading process, you can use it. If this gives you a trade idea, you can use it as well. I see a nice signal here. That's something you could want to maybe investigate. If if there's a bar crossing the high range, you can get, generate a signal. So let's use the color bar based on alert condition again. We're going to use a alert condition cross from below. Closing price with ID 3, that's the high of the inside bar. Subgraph 1. If that happens, we want to show an arrow. Uh, let's color it blue, make it a bit thicker. And we're going to show that arrow at the low of the bar. Offset minus 3 ticks. Offset number of ticks. With this, let's name it. We can generate a long signal. Just an example. We generate long signals based off a simple alert condition. Just an example on using my free bundle and some share chart building studies to generate a signal. Test it out. Hope you like it. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.